Hello, my traveling friend. Welcome. Let's start standing in a nice, comfortable stance, feet hip width apart. Obviously, I'm on my yoga mat, but you do not have to be. Wherever you are is wonderful. In fact, I love you for selecting this video and taking a time on your travels to check in with your body, do something good for yourself. Feet hip width apart, just standing. We're not gonna draw too much attention to ourselves, uh, although you can. We are gonna find some nice little stretches and, and breaths to support us on the journey. Just stand up nice and tall. If you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes or just allow your focus to soften. So you can soften your peripheral view. Just maybe look down past your nose, despite the environment around you. Come into stillness, feel your feet on the ground. Just ground for a second by taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. Drop your left ear over your left shoulder. Feel this deep stretch in the neck as you draw the shoulder blades together. And then for a deeper stretch, you might take the left hand over and rest it gently on the right temple or the right ear. Benji's here if you're a fan of animals. Hopefully he'll brighten up your travel day. And then we'll release that. Drop your chin through to center, to your chest, and then take it to the other side slowly, right ear over right shoulder. Just notice how this side's a little different. Maybe you've been carrying a backpack or a bag. Or who knows what you've been up to. Life is an adventure, and I'm sure your day is emblematic of that. Take the right hand up and over. Just a little deeper stretch there, breathe. And then release that hand. Come all the way up through center and we're gonna take it through some circles now, nice and slow. For these, I really like to think about drawing a circle with my nose. I'm not just kind of throwing my head around, but I'm almost tracing a line with my nose. If your shoulders are really creeping up towards your ears, think about adding a little weight to your fingertips here and then reverse your circle. And chances are, if anyone sees you doing this in the airport, you're gonna inspire them to move their neck a little bit, which is going to create a lovely little ripple effect, so high five. Bring the head back over the heart. If the feet are not together, go ahead and draw them together. So move them from hip width apart to a nice zipped up line in the legs. And then we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, interlace the fingertips. And you're just gonna bump the hips to one side as you stretch and then press into the heels and the feet and go to the other side. And just a couple times back and forth. And again, if someone sees you doing this, chances are you're gonna inspire them to take a little stretch and check in with their body. So I think that is awesome. And then we'll release that. We're gonna interlace the fingertips now behind the back. Keep the legs zipped up here if you can. And if you're doing this seated, you can just melt your belly over your thighs in your chair, opening up through the chest here. We're working to get the palms together, but it might be really tight, so you might square the wrists like I'm doing here. Then inhale, lengthen through the front body, maybe take your gaze up just a little bit. And then exhale, we're gonna bow forward with a bend in the knees. Ooh. For stability, squeeze the legs. Just allow some blood to flow to the head here. Reach your knuckles up towards the sky. Make sure you're breathing here, not holding your breath. And 
and then ground through your feet. Keep your knees bent as you slowly rise back up. Great. Release the bind now, and you're going to bring your fingertips to your shoulders. You can bring the feet back to shoulder width. That feels more stable, or keep them together, or maybe you're in feet. We're just going to start to slowly twist a little to the right and the left. And this is going to be a little fast pace here, as much as you're comfortable doing. But we're not here for long. Breathing deep, lengthening up through the crown of the head. Just energizing a bit here, getting some mobility. It's fine. And then we'll come back to center. You're just going to take some circles now with elbows. Oh, yeah. And then reverse it. Nice. And you're going to cross the right arm over your left shoulder. Take your left palm. You probably remember this from old physical education gym class. But in this version, you're going to really drop the right shoulder down. Great. Then bring your left ear over your left shoulder. And your right ear over your right shoulder. Hoo, 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 hoo. Hoo, 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 hoo. Left ear over left shoulder. Right ear over right shoulder. And release. Shake it out. Take it to the other side. So find the stretch first. Drop your left shoulder down. And then you can add the next. Right ear over right shoulder. Breathe in. Left ear over left shoulder. Oh, hello, trapezius. Adrian, nice to meet you. Right ear over right shoulder. Left ear over left shoulder. And after, after a couple tick tocks with the neck, you can release that, give it a shake. All right, so here is a moment where putting your hand, your left hand on something, whether it's a wall or a chair, could be beneficial, but not necessary. We're gonna bring the left hand to the waist if we don't have a piece of furniture to put it on. Maybe you have a friend <laughs> who will help you with your balance. We're gonna bring the right knee up. We're gonna catch the right shin or ankle with the right foot for a quad stretch here. Now what's gonna really make this is your pelvis position. So. You, so the more you draw your tailbone in and the heel up, the deeper the stretch. You can just kind of play here. The cool thing is we're also opening up through the chest. Breathe. And before you release this stretch, you're going to draw your right knee all the way up into the chest if you can. Interlace the fingertips. Squeeze. Flex the foot. Big stretch in that right glute, low back area. Nice. And then release. Put it down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Quad stretch, open chest, standing tall. And then try to hold on to your core balance as you hug that left knee all the way up, squeeze it in. Let it go. There's a sound of a plane. I'm not sure if the mic will pick it up, but outside and it's very apropos for airport yoga. All right, standing here, we're going to cross the right foot over the left. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, big stretch. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Slight bend in the knees here, just micro bend so they're not locked, and just allow the head to rest. Not to rest, to hang. And to rest. Lovely. Hands come to the waistline. Slowly rise up. And same thing on the other side. Left ankle crosses over the right. Reach all the way up. Deep breath in. And slow fold as you breathe out. All right, 
Inhale in, exhale, hands come to the waistline. Rise up. This is the last thing we're gonna do and it's gonna be the most yoga-y thing. But if you're gonna do it, do it, right? Let's do it. All right, right foot's in front, left foot's in back. You don't have to do a big, big gesture. It can just be small. But right leg is in front, left leg's in back. And we're gonna take the arms and the eagle arms. So the right arm's gonna go underneath the left arm. Like I said, this is the one, one yoga you looking thing. You're going to take the elbows up, but your body is going to be like, thank you, insert your name here. So here we're going to go. Elbows are going to go up here. On the exhale, you're going to bend your front knee just a little bit so it's not locked, and you're going to round down into a fold, a pyramid fold is what it looks like. Not a pyramid scheme, but a pyramid fold. And maybe that leg can start to lengthen in time, I just don't, I want to keep you safe, so you can keep that bent. Dig into your back heel firmly, and then slowly come up and release. Like I said, that's going to be the most dynamic thing that you're doing in the airport here. Okay, take it to the other side. You literally can just shift through center. <clears throat> this is the last little bit. So here we go, eagle arms, this time left arm underneath the right. Inhale, lift your elbows, big stretch. Exhale, slight bend in that front knee as you come forward. Keep your back heel down, low back, hammies, everything. That's the thing is this one's going to look more like a yoga pose, but it's going to target all the good spots for us here. Folding forward in your pyramid with eagle arms. You're amazing. Inhale in deeply. Exhale to dig into that back heel. Engage the back leg to come all the way up. Dude, and you're done. If you want, you can end by swinging the arms a little bit left to right. Lifting the chest, taking a deep breath in, a little knocking on heaven's door in public into it. Thank you so much for taking this time to stretch your body, just kind of connect to your emotional health and your mental health too. Traveling is really fun, but I know how it can be. So thanks for sharing this time with me and I hope you have an amazing adventure. Take good care.